Hi guys and welcome back to another mega tutorial. This one is going to be a pretty big one. Um, it is the HMS Warrior, which is this kind of hybrid ship really uh, that, that was in the service with the Royal Navy. It only had a pretty short lifetime, um, but it's kind of the equivalent, the technology wise behind it, it basically as soon as it was launched, every single warship in the world was obsolete. That's how kind of monumental and important it was. It really drove shipbuilding. Um, it kind of had bigger guns than every single ship. The armor was so thick on the actual sides that no gun could penetrate it. No gun that was actually on a ship could penetrate it. Um, and also its guns were so big that the range was greater as well. So it could actually fire before any ships got close. Um, and of course it was faster and didn't have to. it didn't have to have the sails on it. It also had you know, steam powered, it was a propeller, so it's going to be a really cool build, it's got a lot of history in this ship um, it is a big one, it's 147 blocks long so I think my destroyer tutorial was about 150 odd, and I think my battleship was 150 odd so it's pretty massive, it's 68 high in total uh, mainly because of the masts and things like that and I've completely forgotten how wide it is, so <laughs> I'm just going to have a look, this is why I write it down on here 35 blocks wide. Um, so it's a pretty massive build. I've kind of done a different type of cannon style. There's quite a lot on the deck as well. It's quite, got quite a lot of detail. Um, I spent quite a while trying to get as much kind of stuff on it as possible. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm guessing I must have edited something in here, but um, I haven't done really anything on the interior. Um, and I probably won't do. The only thing I've done is put in these cannons. So I'll show you guys how to build these cannons when we get there. They're just a bit bigger because it did have bigger guns than, say, the Victory itself. If you've done the HMS Victory tutorial. Um, so I'm just going to fly over while I talk about the build itself. Um, and kind of what you're going to expect. So it's going to be like my other tutorials. It's going to be layer by layer. I'm going to announce or say the layer name at the beginning. So I'll say, you know onto layer number one or to layer number two. This way that you can actually get straight, um, you can actually take a break, which is something that's really important, especially with these big builds. You do need to take a break, otherwise you'll end up just making mistakes and you'll get very frustrated. Um, I'm gonna be taking breaks while making this tutorial for obvious reasons, otherwise I'll go completely batshit insane. Um, so that's gonna be kind of the layout. As you can see, it goes up quite a lot. There's, It's got a really big hull. Um, under the water as well. So it is quite a big ship. Uh, there won't be a part two to this one. It's going to be one of mine that I don't do it to part two because I haven't got any plans to really do the interior. Except for these kind of cannons themselves, I'll tell you where to lay out this crazy amount. Um, it doesn't have as many cannons as the HMS Victory, but when it was kind of around, it didn't need to because they were so powerful and so big and the shots that it was firing was so massive. It just didn't didn't really matter in that respect. Uh, if you do use this on a map or a server, do give me credit for my design itself. It's just kind of a common courtesy that you guys should keep in practice. It's just, you know, it will of course be built by you. The interior will be completely yours. But give me, you know, the credit for spending all this time not only building the ship, but the most amount of time actually splitting it up for you guys to make it as simple as possible. Xbox users, you are going to have a slight problem, unfortunately, with these quartz blocks, these quartz slabs. Um, it does have the kind of white going up along the sides of these. These are just kind of trim. What you can do instead is switch them out for stone slabs or something else that you think will kind of work. Um, but apart from that, that's that's pretty much the only problem you're really going to have. Uh, these boats, of course, you can just switch out. I made them out of white because I thought it kind of looked a little bit better with the colour scheme but you can make them out of any colour you want to so you won't have too many problems with that um, so kind of take your time with this build you know build it with friends on a server or something like that really enjoy yourself as well it is quite fun it was really fun for me to go about building something this big as a sailing well kind of like a sailing ship itself so it's a really enjoyable build um, so let's get started on this one Okay, so if you are building it underwater already, what you're going to be is going to be seven blocks underneath the water. Um, because I made this propeller a lot bigger than it actually is, 
it does stick out of the water slightly, but um, from the pictures that I've actually seen, you can actually see the propeller sticking out just a little bit on this one. Um, so I'll just show you where the waterline is. So if you're going up by seven, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, and seven, you will actually be kind of on this layer. So I've got a layer of red and I've got a layer of white showing, and then it goes onto the black, of course. Uh, so seven blocks underneath the water. So anyway, let's get started on this cool build. Okay, so find yourself a nice space. If you are underwater, you will be seven blocks under. So you're going to have three, one, two, three. Then going to go three wide, and this will just be two. Then five wide. And this is a four, one, two, three, four. So just fill this in solid. Then you've got seven wide. This will also be a four. So fill this in solid, and I'll get to the next layer. And then you're going to go wide again, and this is going to be the longest layer. This is going to be 84 in total, counting this block. So you got one, two, three, four, and go all the way back to 84. Okay, so once you've done that really long run and filled it all the way in solid, what you're going to do is come in on each side and you're going to go for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to do a box for these parts and I'll fill it in later um, as it will speed up. They've got a two, and then a two, and now you've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just Fill in all of this bit if you haven't already, and we'll get onto layer number two. Okay, so we're on to layer number two. So come to the front, you're going to place one block on top of this one, and go forwards. An extra two, so you've got three in total, but one of them is on top. And then all you're going to do, this bit is really simple, all you're going to do is just outline like you do on most of my other ships. Or at least my kind of older ships, my newer ones have got really complicated, but <laughs> luckily you, haven't, you guys haven't... Uh, had a tutorial on that, otherwise you'll probably struggle quite a bit. So keep on outlining all of this part on both sides, and all you're going to do is get to this end part here, and you're just going to go over by two. So outline all of this, all the way on both sides, this end bit, just go out by two, and on top you're going to have uh, nine in total, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's all you're going to have. So do that on both sides, and we're done with layer number two. Okay, so layer number three. This one's also pretty easy. So what you're going to do is, this time you're going to put two blocks on top of this one, and just go forwards by one. Then you've got a two, and you've got a one to cover up this gap here. And then exactly the same, you're going to outline, just like you did in the last layer, going all the way back, all the way through these long, long runs, and I'll show you what to do on the end. So go all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. <laughs> just take quite a while. Then when you get to these, this kind of like last two here, you're just going to put in one extra block here, and then you're going to go one, two, three. And there's going to be a two block gap, and you're going to have four, one, two, three, and four. So it should overhang by one. So outline on both of those sides, and we'll get onto. Uh, we're actually going to place in the masts and also the kind of funnel parts for the ship so that when we can we can just bring those up and we'll know that if they're if they're right. They're kind of like a nice placeholder to have for uh, making sure that you've got the bottom of the ship done and all these parts all kind of like lines up. So let's get to it. Okay so for the masts themselves. So if we come to the back of the ship here, so this is the back of course, what we're gonna do the first mast is really easy, it's just in the middle where you've got this long layer. It's right in the middle of this right here. So you can bring this up a bit if you want to. I use birch wood planks for this. Uh, if you wanted to, you could use yellow wool. The reason I didn't use yellow wool is because the gold blocks and yellow wool look really, really similar. So depending on what you make these out of, you know, it depends. If you want it to be kind of like really similar, I just wanted something different. Um, so you can put in that mass there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to count back 30 blocks. There's going to be a 30 block gap. So I'm going to use glass for this. One, two, three, four. So you've got 30 blocks once you've done that, and then this is where your next mast is going to go, <clears throat> just like this. And then for your ne next part, what you're going to do is you're going to have 17 block gaps. So you've got one, two, three, four. This is where your first um, kind of funnel is going to be. So you've got to either choose if you want it out of yellow wool, um, or if you want it out of gold blocks. I use gold blocks because uh, when I turn on connected textures, it looks really nice. Uh, kind of like why I use iron, it looks really nice with the connected textures. So what you're going to do is just create this cross pattern with this one bit in the middle. Um, and again, this you can just bring up a couple of blocks until we kind of, I, I tell you where to actually go up. 
So then what you're going to have is you're going to have a 10 block gap now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then exactly the same thing. Bring this up a little bit. Just like this. And now what you're going to have is a 16 block gap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And that's where your kind of mast is going to go. Now this should be, if you've counted them all right, you should have two blocks from each side, if that makes sense. So you've got these, this long run here, so you have two blocks there. Um, so that's where you put in your mass, and that's where the funnels are going to go. So when you do get down to this lower deck, if you are doing the entire interior, you can actually put in the kind of steam boilers and things like that that will be driving the actual shaft itself and then coming out of these. So let's get on to the next layer. Okay, so now we're on to layer number four. So just like we did in the last layer, we're going to have two on top of the last one, and it comes falls by one. Then you've got a two here, and you've got one, and a one. And then we're going to continue this outline, as we've been doing with the last few layers. So it's quite simple, the bottom of the ship. Um, so let's bring all of those back. Of course, at the back, there will be a slight difference, as there always is with the front and the back. So you're going to keep on bringing out these outlining blocks like this. Then you've got this one, and you've got another one. And then all you're going to have is just one block here, so it's going to be kind of creating this step pattern here. And you've got this other step pattern here, and they've just got these last three blocks have got blocks in them. So you're creating this kind of dip part here, which is where the uh, propeller goes itself. So do that on the other side, and we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, so we're on to layer number five. So we've got a three like this. And then we've got one, and then a two. So this one's just coming out like this. Then we've got a one, then we've got a two. We've got a three, one, two, three. One, two, and three. So we've got another three as well. So we've got three, three. Now you've got a five. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So two of them are on this long stretch. Then this one is going to go just out and goes all the way back. And I'll show you where it's actually going to take you longer for me to do it that way than fly over. So bring that one all the way back to this point here. So this will connect in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have three. So you've got one, two, and three. Now two, 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 and two. So you've got four sets of two. So you've got one, two, three, four sets of two like that. Now this one's now going to change the direction, but it is going to be a 2, so it goes like that and straight over the top. And you've just got a 1 on top of this one here. So it's just kind of starting to round off and flatten out this back part. Uh, so actually don't do that. Yeah, you can even do that on the other side now. I'll just show you what to do on the end. All you can do is just add three blocks onto that kind of this part where the rudder is and where the propeller's going to go. So do that on the other side and I'll get back to you for layer number 6. Okay, so we are on to layer number six. So you've just got two straight on top. It doesn't go forwards or anything like that. Then we've got a one, then a two, then a two, then a one, then a three, one, two, three, then another three, one, two, three, then a five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then this long run goes straight on top, but it's over by one, and it's over by one on each side. So bring this one all the way back. All the way, all the way, all the way. Right to here, so you'll just do this. I'm going to fill this one in in a second. Um, and then you've just got this going over by one, just like that. So it's just over by one on each side, but it is directly on top. Then you've got a three, one, two, three, and two, two, and two. So there's only two, there's only three sets of two on this one, just like this. And then you've just got three ones. So you've got one, two, and it comes across here, and it does come across the back like this to make free so it starts flattening out like this so do that on the other side as well and we're going to build the propeller next okay so to finish off this layer and build up the propeller this rudder here we're just going to build up by free again and in the middle of this bit we're just going to put in an iron block and bring this until it touches here and then on this one what I did is I came out and I built a kind of this shape like this this kind of L um, and then built it out basically just rotating the shape like so it's not too difficult just like that 
So it's got quite a big propeller. I made it out of completely iron. You could, if you wanted to, switch it out and, like my other belts, have these parts as gold. Um, but if you want the kind of more kind of historically accurate to what it is, then make it out of iron blocks. Um, and that just finishes off layer number six. Okay, so we're now on to layer number seven. So you're going to place one block on top of this one, and now it's going to go forwards. And you've got one, then two, 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 and two. So there should be four sets of two in total. So you've got one, two, three, and four, like that. And you've got five, uh, three, one, two, three, and a five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then, just like before, this one came over by one. It's going to do exactly the same. So it's going to lay exactly on top. But on each side, um, you guys can bring this all the way back down. So bring this all the way back down. I'm going to do mine later. Um, bring it all the way back down. And then you'll come over just by one, like we did on the last layer. So this is just smoothing out this little bit here. And then we've got a three, then a two, then a two, and then a one, and then a two. And then we've got two going the other way over the top of this. And now I've got a one that comes over this part here. And all you're going to do uh, for the, this back part here is you're just going to put two blocks on the inside part. And that finishes up layer seven. So bring that layer down and do the same on the other side. And we'll get on to number eight. Okay, so we're on to layer number eight. So you're just going to place one block on top, just like that. So it doesn't go forwards or anything, just one block. And then you've got a one, and then a two, 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 and two. So there is five sets of two this time. So you got one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Then we got three, one, two, and three, and a four. One, two, three, four. So it just comes into the inside. This long run now, this is going to go out by one block. So bring this one all the way back. Um, and I'll show you where to stop for this one because it's slightly different. So keep on bringing that one out. And you're going to stop it where you've got these kind of layers here. This is where it's going to stop. So it's stopping too short of the last layer. So just bring this one all the way along. Connect those two as well. So it just stops here. So before you start doing these step patterns to smooth it in, it just stops there. And then we've got a four. One, two, three, four. Then we got two. One, two, a two. And another two sets of two. So you got two and two. So there's four sets of two on this one. One, two, three, and four like that. Now we've got a one in here. Now there's going to be five that come across the back. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. And then just to finish it up, on this part here, you're just going to place one block there. So you're just creating that step pattern going up behind the propeller. And once you've done that on both sides and brought it all around, we are done with the red wool. And we're onto this white layer here. So you're definitely out of the water by this time. Okay, so layer number nine. So we're onto the white layer. So. Well done guys, we're done with the red wool, throw it away, burn it, whatever you want to do with it, it's absolutely fine. So place a white block of wool on top of here and come forwards by one. Then you've got one, one, and one. So you've got three sets of one right there, then you've got two sets of two. Don't know why I built them all the way over there, so you've got two, and then a two, like that. Then you've got three, one, two, two, three, and a four, one, two, three, and four. And then these ones just set right on top. So this is all just going to set right on top, and it goes all the way back, again, all across this long run. Uh, there is a slight change at the back, but I'll show you that now. So this will be all the way on top, like this. These are all on top. The first two sets of two are on top, and then this one, uh, so the third set of two, is going to be slightly different. You're going to go four, so you've got one, two, two, one, two, three, and four. So you've got it like that, and then you've got a two coming out this way, and then this comes across the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you've got these two here and a four. One, two, three, four. And then all you're going to do in these two gaps is put in a couple of blocks like that. So do that on the other side, and then we're on to layer number ten, which is the black wool. Okay, so we're now on to layer number ten, which is the black wool. I actually need to slow myself down, otherwise I'm going to fly away. Um, so what I'm actually going to do quickly is actually switch texture packs to a kind of texture pack that's going to be a bit easier to see because it's very difficult to see where everything changes. So I've just switched to Doko Craft itself because it does have these kind of edges around. It's still quite dark, um, so it all does look really, really different. It's also a very cool texture pack if you haven't already checked it out. I usually 
check out some of my builds in it anyway. Um, so what we're going to do to start off with, so you're onto black wall, what you're going to do is you're going to place one on top of the last one and come forwards by one. Then you got a one, and then a two, then one, one, two, then a four, one, two, three, and four, then a three, one, two, three, and then you got a five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the long run is just going to be straight on top, so bring this one all the way back again. Um, I'm just going to do it kind of roughly. And as usual, the back is slightly different because we're starting to set up before we get to this kind of captain's uh, quarter thing. So this four has got it on top. This two is where it starts to change. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like that. Then we've got four, one, two, three, and four. Then we've got two, but it goes across the back, so it's kind of switched direction in a way. And then you've got three coming across, and then you've just got a one. So I did forget on the last layer that there is a white block, as this should connect in here. Um, so I'm just going to do the same bit on the other side, because it is kind of so dark in the black wall and things like that. It's quite difficult. So you've got this long run will have black wall on it. This will have this layer of four will have black wall. Then there's two. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you got a four, one, two, three, four, and then you got two going across this way, and then three going across as well. And then all you're going to do is these holes. You just put in your black wall and fill them up like this, just like that. So then do the same on the other side. Kind of complete this black layer, and we'll. Yeah, I'll tell you where to actually fill in the deck because this is where the gun deck itself is I believe or it's underneath it's, it's a deck here anyway okay so once you've done that around the outside what I use for this part is birchwood planks um, currently still in doku craft so it looks a bit strange um, and this is where you kind of get a bit stuck with the mast just make sure that you pull your mast up through the floor but just fill in this entire floor with Birchwood planks all the way. This is actually going to be your gun deck. Um, I haven't mapped out any of the floors below this at all, uh, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of room, so you guys have got a lot of space to be able to fill. Um, I'll just show you kind of quickly the gun deck itself uh, in this texture pack as well, which will be a bit different. The guns do look quite nice. Uh, so this is still over the top of it for some reason. There you go. So this is the actual deck that you are on at the minute, so we're going to put in next, um, if I just put the light on, if I can actually type it properly, there we go. You put on light, so these are the actual kind of cannons I came up with, they look quite cool in this texture pack, they look a bit better than Sfax. Um, so this is the actual deck you're on now, so fill in that entire deck, and then we'll build up the next section, uh, like I did on the victory, I'll just, I know we've still got another layer before we get onto that, ignore me, ignore what I'm saying on this part. Um, we'll do this layer, we'll probably put in the guns anyway as it might make it a bit easier and they're really easy to do once you once I kind of tell you where to cut out for them so let's get to it okay so for layer number 11 what you're going to do is you're going to place one block on top of here and go forwards by one then you've got one and two then you've got three sets of one, one, two and three so you've got three sets of one there then you've got a five, one, two, three, four, five and then you've got a three one, two, three, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The long layer, this is just going to stick exactly on top of it. So bring this one all the way down. And then once you've brought that one all the way down, what you're going to do is add an extra four blocks. One, two, three, and four. And then you've got a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a four. One, two, three, four. And then a one. And then you've got two. So it's basically just outlining this part here. But across the back, you're going to go across by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So do that on both sides, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so once you've done that on both sides, where you've got this layer of seven here, this is where I put in the captain's cavern, and I put it up one more block. Um, just because you, it does kind of bend in a little bit. You've got the guns here. doesn't really look like it, but it is up a little bit higher. So all I did with this bit is I just put in a floor on this part, just where you got the seven, just go straight across, and then you can create some way to get inside it or whatever. That's absolutely fine. The captain's cabin on this is absolutely massive, as you can see, as it's from this area all the way to the back area, so it is quite big. 
Um, so fill that in and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so once you've done that kind of raised cabin, um, what you're going to need is quartz slabs. If you're on the Xbox, use stone slabs. And I didn't really realize that the stone slabs in Dukacraft look really strange. But you can use stone slabs for this part and it'll look fine still. Uh, so what you've got the setup for, on the upside you're just going to go around this. And all you're really doing is just outlining the actual captain's cabin itself. Because it does have this kind of white bit on the bottom and also on the top. And this is where the kind of windows set up. So it's quite an easy bit for this part. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the actual guns going all the way along the ship. And we'll keep on working our way up until we get to the top deck. But you're doing really well so far. Okay, the guns themselves are pretty easy. So where you've got this captain's cabin and you've done this layer here, you're going to leave one block gap and put down three blocks of iron. Just like that. Then you're going to leave a four block gap. One, two, three, four. You're going to put down three. And you're going to do this until you've got 19 of these kind of base cannons. Um, and that goes all the way down. So you've got one, two, three. I'll actually count them out. There is one right at the end which goes onto the bent bit. So I'm actually just going to put down these like simple parts and show you the extra ones. So you can do this going down 18 with a four black four block gap in between. Okay. Okay, so once you've brought down 18 of them there, there's just going to be one on this layer of uh, six itself. So you, like, same again, one, two, three, four. You're just going to have the three blocks, of course, going to be back a little bit. So I'll show you how to do one of these cannons. It's exactly the same on the other side as well. Um, so if I just jump over to this side here, the way that I did these cannons is if you come to the front, place a grey piece of wool. Um, usually I use black wool for this style of cannon. But because we've got black on the outside, I used a grey piece instead. Then put an iron block behind it. Get your trap doors, and these are just going to be your kind of wheels like this. So we've got those. And then all I did is put a button on the back part there. And when you actually do get the cannons themselves, what you're going to have, just get rid of this kind of stuff, is there will be a dispenser that goes on the end here, like this. Uh, so you can put that in if you want to, um, and then it's just going to have a trap door on it like that. So that's what it looks like from the inside, which is pretty odd. Um, another way, of course, you could do it if you wanted to, is bring out your wall like this. And then usually when I do these kind of things, I use a wooden button instead. Or you can use a stone kind of button, normal ones. So you could, if you wanted to, have all of these guns as coming out. And then when you built around the kind of uh, body of it, grab some sort of wooden slab, like, I don't know, oak wood, and you can put your kind of things like that, or you can have this coming up further. It's kind of up to you what you want to do with the cannons, um, but the inside of them, you can build them this way, and then just copy that, and do that on the other side as well, and we'll get onto the next layer. Okay, so we're on to layer number 12, so you should have all your guns set up. Uh, so come to the front, Place one block on top, come forward by one, and you got one and a two, then one and a two, and then a one, and then you got four, one, two, three, and four, and then you got another four, one, two, three, and four. These ones just go straight on top. All you're going to do now is where you've got your gun, you're going to put in a dispenser like these. So these just go on top for this long run. Um, so fill that all the way in with wool on each side, just on this long run, and put in the dispensers in the kind of uh, gaps behind your guns. Do that all the way back. So you've got here, you have your dispenser here. Um, and then also on these guns, put your trap doors. I usually have them open, but if you wanted to, you can have them closed. Uh, so that's one way. Or you could do the other way with the grey wool sticking out and the, the kind of button on the end of it. And then this one will also go straight back like this. So bring that up to there, and then we'll do the captain's cabin itself. Okay, and then for the captain's cabin itself, what you're going to do is have glass, just on top of the white, uh, either the quartz slabs or on top of your stone slabs, and you have a block, then glass, then block, then glass, and then a block. And these ones are going to be two pieces of glass. And you've just got glass, block, glass, block, glass, block for the back. Like this. So these two are glass. Oh, not trap doors. I don't know why I'm trying to use that. Glass, block. So it's just alternating, really. And this is just starting off building up the captain's cabin itself. Uh, so once you've done 
kind of gone around that and once you put all your dispensers on and also put on your trapdoors uh, we'll get onto the next layer okay and just to finish off this layer I did forget one little bit the first uh, six layers, so Carol needs to do one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to come back. This is solid at the front, like this. Just like that. And then you're just going to put in two blocks on each each of these sides here. What this bit is, is this front um, kind of floor for this part here. This is all you're building at the minute. Uh, which on mine I don't actually have a way into yet. So it might be worth at some point, you know, you guys putting in some way to actually get inside or get onto this bit, even if it's with ladders or something like that. So that's just to set up that floor for this front part. So you're doing really well so far. Let's keep going. Okay, so for layer number 13, come to the front and place two blocks on top of these two, and they're going to come forwards by one. And you're just going to add an extra block on each side of this part here. And then you have one, and then two, uh, two, like this. Uh, you've got another set of two as well. So there's three sets of two in total, like that. Then you've got three, one, two, three, and then you've got five. One, two, three, four, five. And the next sets, all they're going to do is just lay right on top. Just exactly the same. So it's just covering up these kind of gun bits now, and it's exactly the same. It's a pretty easy layer, this one. Uh, the only difference is at the front, which will finish off the front part in a second, I'm just trying to bring this all the way back it's a very long layer like this, so then this one sets on top as well then all you're going to do is exactly the same as you did on the last layer with the captain's cabin, it's just going to be doubled up like this, and then fill in your, of course, with your black wall as well it's going to be in the middle parts as well, so it's pretty easy um, so do that on both sides and fill it all the way in and I'll show you the kind of slight difference that we got to do at the front. Okay so once you've done that on both sides come to the front part here all you're going to do is just outline this kind of deck that you've created uh, like this. So you have got this weird kind of one block on this side but it doesn't matter too much so you had, should have uh, if you count this side two, two, three, two and two like that and then you've just got this kind of front deck area here um, so let's get on to the next layer okay so we're on to layer number 14 which is the last layer of black wool so this one is going to lay pretty much all the way on top especially on these front parts here like this so just lay this all on top of the last layer uh, this is the last layer of black wool so do all of this um, and then I'll show you what to do at the back because it's really easy. All you're doing basically is just mirroring what you did last time. So you're going to bring all of these around here. And where you've got your either white, you know, you've got your quartz slabs or you've got your stone slabs, you're going to put these on top of these parts now. Exactly the same as we've got on the, where you've got your slab placement before. Let's cover up, just covers up these parts here. So you one, two, three, four. And then when you've got all of your wall being brought across these parts, uh, you're actually going to go back onto the inside just like we did on this layer down here with these bits. So this is where your last layer of black wall is going to go. So if you do uh, that back section and then you just lay black wall on top of all of these ones, I'll show you what to do for the front. We'll complete this mast and we'll put in a deck for this part. And then all we've got to do is like the mast, the deck work and all those kind of things. So well done. Okay, once you've done those on each of the sides, what you're going to do is around the front, you're just going to put slabs on these parts. Just kind of going around the side parts here. I'll just change, show you what to change here. So you're going to do right on these front two. You're just going to switch this one out for a stair. If you're on the Xbox, you can uh, choose something else that'll be fine. And there is going to be a slab just behind this part here. This part becomes a completely full block with a slab on top. And then this is really funny. This is kind of what I did for uh, the actual figure at the front. Let's put a Steve's head on with some levers as arms and things. So I'll show you how to do that. It's quite Funny, it's the closest you're going to get to any sort of style on the front. Um, so, all you're going to do is get some sort of head. You could use a wither head or a skeleton head if you want to. I'm just using the default Steve head. And then, with your item frames, just put these around the three sides. And then, what you actually need to do is put levers on before you put these side parts on. And then, I put item frames in behind them, like this. And then, I put gold blocks on all of these. It just 
uh, kind of gives the lever itself a little bit kind of a change some skull blocks and those bits and that's all we need to do really for uh, layer number 14 now all we need to do is grab I used birchwood slabs for this and all you need to do is just fill in this deck across here so this is the actual deck itself and it gives you a total of three and a half blocks um, for the gun deck itself which is pretty massive uh, so that if you do kind of want to put in TNT cannons which I will do a separate tutorial on a couple of TNT cannon designs and I'll probably use the the warrior to show those off um, I'll show you how to fit really big well hopefully quite big TNT cannons I haven't tried it yet but I'll put TNT cannons in these so that you've got them the TNT cannons and then you can convert the other ships as well so fill in the deck with slabs on this upper side and then what we're going to do is going to do this mast because it's quite easy and we'll start setting up the mast and also these details on the deck itself so well done guys okay so once you fill in that deck there is one more layer of black and it does just sit straight on top of the last uh, there is a couple of bits that get cut out kind of at the back um, so for this layer all you need to do is again put your black wall on top like this uh, there are a couple of guns on this deck itself, like a small couple of them. Uh, we do have to put in these side platform type things as well. But we'll do that when we get, actually get to the mass. It'll be a lot easier as well as cutting out these bits. For, but for now, all you need to do is uh, just bring this black wool one layer over this kind of bit here. And then get out your quartz slabs or your stone slabs. Put them straight on top. And after you've done that, we will get on to... Uh, putting in this mast and uh, this kind of forward mast and then do all the rest of stuff. Okay, so once you've done all that, I've just noticed a slight mistake that I've made at the front. So you should have three, two, then you're going to need to cut these down by three and this one down by three. So it cuts down to this same layer as this, which will have slabs on like that. Then this one, what you're going to do is pull this one up to the same layer. So you've got three, two, one, one, two, and then you've got your five all those kind of things. So I'll do the same on the other side. So you should have three, two, and then this one is just going to be one. So you cut it down to the same layer as this so you can put a slab on it. Same again. And then this is where you put in your black wool like this. And that should just finish off the front of it itself. So that's how it should look. Uh, sorry about that slight mistake. Uh, it does happen every so often, but you do have this front deck now. Um, so we'll do, we'll put in the mast and then I'll try and tell you guys where you can actually put in a door because it is on a slightly different level than the actual gun deck itself. Okay, so I've switched back to Sfax, um, the texture pack that I usually use. Uh, hopefully you guys were alright with me switching the texture pack to this one. Give me some feedback on that if you can, um, if it made it easier or not. It makes it easier for me, especially as I can see the blocks a little bit clearer. So what you're going to do for the front mast is just cut out these two underneath this slab here and then you're going to put in right here you're going to put in a slab like this and you're going to go up with a slab then you're just going to basically work your way up with these slabs like this so you've got a full block then you've got these two slabs on them and it just kind of angles it a little bit uh, it's kind of like what we did with the victory except for the victory we did these three um, with this one it didn't look that thick so I just made it with a two uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to do this 22 times so you're going to go one two, three, four, five, six. So once you've got 22 of those in total, all you're going to do is come to the end and you're just going to place a slab on the end like that. Okay, and then for this front mast itself, we're not actually going to put these sails on. I'm going to show you two different ways to do the sails. Um, of course, this stupidly basic way, and I'll show you how to do the full sails if there's time on the end of the video. Uh, if not, I'll do it as a part two, which will be the next day. I'll record it all at the same time, so you'll definitely get that the day after. Uh, just depending on how long the video length is. So you're going to count up 11 of these. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then add 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 to the other side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And also on this one, you're going to add to the bottom as well. So you're going to add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's a little bit different, this kind of front mast itself. Um, especially with this part here, uh, it's up to you if you want to have it in. I saw that there was some sort of mask coming off the bottom part. It was slightly angled, but I couldn't get the angle to look quite right, so I made it straight. Uh, but that finish finishes off the front mast. Okay, so we're just going to build up the first mast. So if you haven't already done so, make sure that you pull this one up 
uh, all the way from the bottom. Oh, I should just need to double check. There we go. Yeah. So I'll kind of try and figure out where it is on the deck as well, just in case you have got it wrong. So on this long stretch, you should have, uh, in line with this one, you should have two gaps like that. So hopefully you guys have got that. So counting this one, we're going to go up by a total of 13. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then you're going to go out by 16 on each side. So it's a really big, big mass. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Just like that. So you've got this really big mass. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up by three, one, two, and three. And then just like we did uh, on this front mass, we're just going to do the diagonal. So off this block, you're going to do your two slabs, and you're going to go up in a total of 15. So you've got one, two, three, four, and 15 in total. So you, so you should end up on this full block here. So it's got kind of these bits going back on each mass as well, which is a bit strange. It's a bit different anyway. Then you're going to add an extra 10 blocks to this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 8, 9, and 10. And then you're going to go out by 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then you're going to add 12 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. This time you're just going to add 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the top, can I say I was really small? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then on the top, add five more blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then grab some fence. And you're going to go up by a total of eight with fence. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just like that. So that's the kind of basic part of that mast. Um, we're going to do this kind of rigging kind of when we've. Uh, when we've finished off doing all the basic masts and we'll put in some of the deck patterns as well. I'm probably going to just do these basic masts then do the deck itself as it's quite easy and then all we've got to worry about is just this these kind of crazy sails and also this rigging. Um, so this rigging is really really complicated. It's much, there's a lot more than, uh, than there was on the HMS Victory. It was a nightmare for me to get it right the first time. Um, but hopefully I can teach it in a simple way and if you've done the victory it'll be a nice kind of you'll at least have practice of doing these kind of crazy bits so let's do the next mast okay so for the next mast which is quite a bit far back we're still not near the end um, I'm just gonna count hopefully you've brought up uh, both of the kind of gold bits and all of these just masts um, this one's kind of hard to tell you guys where it actually is in relation to things um, but basically from the back you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guns and it's just before the eighth gun here from the back that is. Uh, that's kind of the best place that hopefully you guys have got that come through and you've also pulled it through the decks. Um, so what we're going to do is going to go up by 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then we're going to go out by 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we're going to go up by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this is where your diagonal sail goes, just like we did before. And it's going to go out by 15. So you've got 1, 2, 3, and 5. 15, just like that. Then you're going to go up by 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And you're going to go out by 13 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then you go up by 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And this one just goes out by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's another small sail. And same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then up by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Grab your fence. And you're going to go up by 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 and 9. 
So that finishes off the second mast. Uh, we're now just going to do this back one here, and then we're going to get on to detailing the deck itself, as it's pretty easy, and it's you know we can then get onto the most complicated part of the build. Okay, now we're on to the back mast. So again, I'll kind of try and show you where it is. So if I just pull a block back from here, you should have three, no, four blocks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you got four blocks. Uh, from the outside, this is on a long run, so that's why you should be right there. And then all you're going to do for this one is you're going to go up by 4, so count on this one, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you're going to go back by 19, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So you've got this kind of quite enough space to walk around and everything, which is good. Then I'm going to go up by 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then you're going to go out with 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now what you're going to do is, like we've done with these other ones, you're going to go diagonal. This time, instead of starting your block here, you're going to go up the slab. So it's already going to have a slab on top of a slab like this. And it's going to go 14. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, just like that. Then you're going to go up by 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and out by 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, so I'm going to double count these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, and another 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then up by 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And now out by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. Just like that. And then you go up by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then you're just going to add 5 fences this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that finishes off the uh, basis for the masts. Uh, we've still got to put in all of these crow's nests and the ridiculous rig and all that kind of stuff, but we'll, we'll sort that a bit out in a second. Um, I'll show you the simple way to do the sails. Well, I'll show you how to do one of them, um, which I've kind of completely changed. So I'm going to change this on my one as well. So the simple way that you do all the sails, uh, if you're going to have these straight masts, you're going to have it tied up. What you're going to do is come in one block from the last mast and come down diagonal just in front kind of like this and then all you're going to do is add an extra one onto it like this kind of cross so that's the really simple way to do it um, all you need to do to finish off that simple way is put fence in like this and do that on all of the sails really um, all of these main mast sails and this is kind of what it looks like overall um, but like I said there'll probably be it'll probably be a part two just to make this main tutorial video a bit shorter uh, but it will come out the next day I'm gonna make sure that it's all recorded uh, so you can do that um, and now we're gonna get onto these deck kind of designs now okay so for the back itself um, I did take some of the slabs off this part it's up to you if you want to do the same I'll show you where to do it anyway uh, we've well, got this run of four anyway you've got you can cut out two of these places here uh, there is more places that are cut out on the ship itself but uh, when I did all of them it kind of looked a bit odd um, so I just left these two here, and then all I did is took off these slabs. It's up to you if you want to do this. Um, I think this one, this way, is a bit more accurate to the actual build itself, but I actually do prefer it with the slabs, so I might do it with the slabs in this version, and then you've got the other one anyway. And then all I did is just come in on each of these sides with fence, come up, and then come out like this. So just come in by, by one block, place a fence, go up by one, go up by one, and then come out just like this, and place your glowstone on the back. These are these kind of lanterns at the back. And I put trapdoors around because I'm not too keen on Sfax's uh, glowstone texture. It doesn't look quite right. Uh, so that's how you can kind of cover those up a little bit. And that creates the two lanterns at the back. Another small kind of detail I did on mine, I tried to make the kind of deck a little bit more interesting. Uh, because you've got this one and a half blocks here, what I did is I put slabs around the outside so you can actually still walk up, like, up and have a good look. Otherwise you kind of got a stunted look, so I'll just show you how to basically put them in it. It does go all the way around the inside of the ship. Uh, the only bit is the front that you need to worry about, because you've got this mass that kind of is seemingly connecting into this deck. So you just put them around the side, and you just put slabs 
on the outsides of all of these bits just like this, so you've got this way to go up uh, when we do cut out the guns we'll just cut straight into them but it's a lot easier just to do all of them as there's not that many guns in this bit so get to it okay so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys it's completely started to tip it down and it's got a kind of thunderstorm in the background but hopefully you guys can still hear me fine uh, so come to the front and we're going to place in this big gun at the front so what you're going to do is you're going to go back by uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's actually the sixth block. So you've got this five block gap here. Uh, I need actually something to show you guys. The glass will do fine. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and that's the sixth block. And then what we're going to do is add two blocks to the back, just like this. These are exactly the same way as we did the guns down uh, below deck, except for that it's completely shown. And then just add three black pieces of wool onto the front. Get your trap doors. These go on the sides as if they're wheels. So like this, place your button on the front, uh, on the back, just like that. And then you can do is you can put um, a wooden button or a normal button on the front uh, to try and make it look like it's got the circular part. Another thing you can do, about just getting rid of it all, is if you get in your item frame here, yeah, you can put an item frame on the end as well. And uh, either put in a block or you can, if you've got a circular kind of thing uh, with Sfax, there is somewhere <laughs> there's either you can use coal not that there we go coal is like a circular thing um, or you can just leave it blank I've left mine blank on mine uh, just because I didn't didn't really mind about too in too much detail but that's that's the kind of like front big gun that it's got on it okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the stairs behind the mast itself so all of the masts just have fences going around them like this. Um, I saw there was some way that it connected into the deck and this is kind of like the best way we could do so you can put this on all of the masts and then once you've done that come back to the front and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to leave a one block gap here and then you're going to put in fence again and you've got three here make it five wide in total and then also count on this one you're going to go five forwards you've got one, two, three, four, five just like this and then cut out these parts here and this is where I put in my stairs just like that. So I just put in my stairs here. I'll tell you guys where I put mine in. I made them really big just because it's such a big ship that um, you know it makes it a little bit easier on the actual ship itself. Uh, the, all the stairs are kind of like sideways. I'll just show you a rough way of what they're supposed to be like. They're supposed to be like this. They're really small and they go down like sideways like that. Um, but I kind of wanted to have some quite grand stairs and especially when you've got the amount of room this one does. I decided to put like three sets of stairs going down into the gun deck itself. Uh, so that's how you do that. Uh, another thing before I forget, another thing I do quite a lot on my builds is I put upside down stairs on the back part of it as well. As you probably guessed, if you've done the tentative class, it's kind of it makes it a little bit smoother. If I take them off, like you can kind of see that it's very, you know, there's a lot of sharp lines. It at least smooths it out a little bit. Uh, another thing you can do, of course, is fill in the back completely solid, uh, but I prefer doing this. And then for the next bit of detail behind this front mass, what I did is I left one block, and you've got uh, just I use spruce wood slabs for this part. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use oak wood or something like that. Uh, but I went back by five, so one, two, three, four, five. Fill this in solid, then leave a block gap, and this is, again is going to be free wide, and it's going to go back by seven in total. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's just one block away from the big kind of uh, the big kind of steam part itself. So that's quite simple. And then the next bit you can do is around this one. If you just pull this one up by one, like that. We're going to do a black wall is come around the sides. You're just going to make a five by five kind of base for it. So it's just going to literally wrap all the way around it into these corners, just like this. And then with whatever material you use for the uh, steam parts themselves, what you can do is on this last one just cut this one out and you're going to go up by three, so you've got one, two and three. Leave a two block gap, and do the same, one, two, three. And all I did for these is I put trap doors on like this, uh, put an item frame in as well, and I used a block of coal <laughs> as kind of the circles. It's kind of difficult to get this part. If you do put down the trap door, beware because usually, anyway, there we go, your item frames and stuff fly off. Uh, so you could just have them quite simply like this. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do both ways. I'll do them like this and I'll do them the other way as well. 
And then what you're going to do on each corner is just add three blocks. Like this. So it's just going to up by three. And again, you've got these two going this way. And the other two are facing the other way like that. And if you want to, you can put in your item frames and your coal. What I'm going to do is just put the trap doors down. Uh, just to see what it looks like overall. It's kind of your choice what you want to do with these parts. And then what you're going to do is these parts are going to pull up to a total height of 8. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 in total. Let's bring all those up to a height of 8, like this. Like that. And then around the base, you're just going to add one block in. It just makes it a bit bigger. Just like this. And then on the top, uh, this isn't actually on the real build itself, but I thought it looked a bit better if you put black wall on top. If not, and you want to kind of have accurate just put an extra block of gold on top and that will do fine. Uh, so just to finish off this bit, get your weighted pressure plate, plates which are, if you are using it out of gold, then this will go exactly right. And I just put my weighted pressure plates on all of the top kind of faces of these, uh, just to give it a bit more detail. And that's it for that kind of smokestack and most of this forward part anyway. There's not too much detail on it because it is so big, uh, but you can always Put on all the chests and stuff. Uh, we'll do this gun as I've just forgotten it. Um, so yeah. Okay, the forward two cannons which are just on these sides are really easy. It's in line with this mast here. Just follow the line, cut out here, cut out here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put in a piece of black wool here, or grey wool, either way is fine. Uh, I'll use black wool on this part. And put in an oakwood stair or some sort of different stair. And at the front, you're going to have your dispenser and then your trapdoor like that. So it's really simple, the same on the other side, follow the exact middle of the mast itself, cut it out, put in a black piece of wool just behind it, or grey wool, depending on what you want to use, and then put in your dispenser and your trapdoor on top like that, and that definitely now finishes off the front section. Okay, for the second smokestack itself, what you're going to do again is, it's exactly the same as the one that we did before, but I'll still go over it. Uh, so you're going to do your, bring those up a little bit, do your 5x5 five five square, like this, and then you can bring it up an extra layer, and we can actually already go around the corners like this, and then counting these two, you're going to go up by 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, bring that all the way up, just like that, and then if you want to, put your black piece of wool on the top. And then on each of these corners, go up by three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. And then depending on which way you're going to do it, of course, I'm going to do that with the trapdoors down, just like this. Pretty simple. And then on the front, what you're going to do is go up by three as well. So you're going to come forwards onto this one block here, and there's one on the back as well. So this one's got a couple more of these uh, steam funnel type things itself. Then just to connect these two together, what we're going to do is get out whatever planks that you're using for these deck kind of markings get out the planks and you're just going to join them both together then all you're going to do is have stairs going on each side so this one's a little bit more raised up like this just like that and then all we need to do to finish it off is put on your weighted pressure plates on all of the kind of uh, golden faces or yellow wall faces that you have and that just finishes off the second smokestack we've got to build uh, well now we've got to build this kind of, uh, this is a forward bridge. The uh, ship itself has two different types of bridges. It's got this really forward bridge and it's also got this back one. These are just slightly raised uh, kind of walkways I guess. Uh, which are a viewport. I've just put in a crafting table or some sort of thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, and this one's got an armoured, tiny tiny little armoured room. As well as of course you got those big things there. So what we're going to now build is this uh, forward bridge here. Okay then, come onto this section here. So you've got these two funnels and they're the back one. That's going to be, if you've got this one up, that's fine as well. You're going to leave a one block gap and go up by four. One, two, three, and four. Just like this. So this just sets up this back part which connects into it. It'll be a nice placeholder type thing. And then on this black thing, you're going to leave two blocks two blocks, so you're coming down to here, it's quite difficult for me to find it, but you should have two blocks here, um, so coming towards the front, so you've got two slabs like this, and all you're going to do is just bring these right to the edge, we'll cut out the side bits for the actual edge itself in a second, so that where it connects in, uh, but it's just the basic part of it, 
So let's bring those two back to here. And then what you're going to need to do is place a block of some sort here, take out these two slabs, this is directly over these two, and put in stairs like that. Take out these two slabs and put in fence. Let's just connect it in. So the same on the other side as well. Let's put in two types of blocks, whatever it is, just to build your opposite downstairs, take out the two slabs, put in your fence like that. And then from the side, you're going to count back three. So you've got one, two, three. And this is where your stairs are going to go up, like this. So it's one away from this side part here. So you've got the stairs there. I'll do the same on the other side as well. So one, two, three. This is where your stairs are going to come up to join in. So these stairs are coming from the back of the ship to the front, uh, just in case you're a bit confused on where they are. So you've got that, like that. And what you can do then is just bring a fence along the front part of this and wrap it around like that, just like this, and then bring fence across, this one won't be on a slab or anything, if you wanted to, what you could do is put in a slab there, I just left mine like this, um, as it didn't look too bad, and then what you're going to do is add a fence on the bottom part, and then come out, then underneath, and come out, then underneath, and you can come out again if you want to, uh, on this bit here, you're going to come out, and then come back in, and then you're going to do exactly the same pattern as you did here, And then just connect in with your uh, birch wood slabs. So I just put those two up so it looks like it connects in. So you've got this walkway up here and you've got a fence around the side. So we'll do the same on the other side as well. So just bring this across here. Again, if you want to, you can put your slab down uh, underneath it. And then what you're going to do is go under and then out, then under, then out, then under, and then out again. And this one comes out, then comes in. And exactly the same kind of pattern like this and then put in two slabs like that and then all I did is uh, right in the middle of this part towards the front of the ship I put in a crafting table like that so that's kind of like the front uh, bridge itself so we're just working our way back we've got a couple of small boats another one of these funnel type things a couple of guns in this mid section before we get uh, past this mast here and then from the last the not the last mast the middle mast what you're going to do coming towards the front so you have a gap of two, I'm just going to use crafting tables for this, and then you're going to go up by three with your golden blocks or your yellow wool, and do the same thing that you've been doing for these ones, so it's another one of these things, so you can either have them open again, or I'm going to try them closed and see what it looks like, and we've just got a couple of small ships in the gun. Okay, so now we're going to build the small boats, so uh, I use quartz for these ones, if you're on the Xbox and you don't have the quartz, or any other version you don't have the quartz, then you can use any sort of wood, as long as probably don't use birch wood, that's the only thing I could say, so behind this one here you're going to just leave a block and come in and place uh, some sort of stair which isn't whatever you're building your boat out of and leave a six block gap, so you've got one, two, three, four, five and six that's where your other kind of stair is going to go uh, without me destroying the entire deck and leave a block gap, it's going to be on the same on the other side that's the same on this side as well, so you're going to leave this one block gap have one here and six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, exactly the same thing. Both of these boats are built in the same way as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do one of them. And both of these boats are exactly the same. So I'll just show you how to do one. So with whatever slabs that you're making out of, join them two together in the middle and add one going towards the front. Uh, so I'm just going to place down the base of the other one as well. Just like this. And then what you're going to do is get your stairs out and you're going to bring them upside down and these just go right to the edge of both of these parts and at the back what you're going to do is add an extra one on and it just wraps around the back like this like this there we go. and this is where there's one tricky block because we've got this thing in here and just bring them around um, also what you could do is if you've done my Tegatop class you can always bring some of those small boats over onto this um, and then at the front all you can do is just bring the stair around like this so it's pretty easy. And then just for some seats in this kind of boat, I'm just going to leave one, then put a slab. And uh, this will just go all the way to the front like that. So then build the same on the other side. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to find this stair that you've got here. And you're going to cut out this entire part for the deck. Uh, this is actually where I put in a ladder. So on this version, I didn't go all the way. I don't know why, um, but I should have really done. So you can bring a ladder down. Uh, all the way to where you've got the waterline. If you're the same as me, same as me, this is where the waterline is going to be. So you can put a ladder there. It'll be the same on the other side as well. So you can just cut this section out here, 
and put in a ladder. And because I've made this straight, um, you can actually get up it on, in the water. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to count four of these slabs going to the front. So you got one, two, three, and four. And then the fifth one, I don't know why I cut that one out. Uh, so the fifth one, you're just going to basically build another one of those cannons, just exactly the same as you did in the front. So you got your dispenser, and then around the back, either black or grey wool. And I used oak wood stairs on these parts. So you got one, two, three, four. Fifth one, again, I've cut out that for some reason. <laughs> um, and then you got your black wool, oak wood stair, dispenser, uh, which will go in the gap. Yep. And you've also got your trap door. So this finishes off all of the section that's going forwards from this point. We just still got this middle section here. We've got the other bridge. That's just a big gun. I might just do the big gun now, as it's really easy. And then for the big gun at the back, so come right to the back. And right on this section, right in the middle, what you're going to do is you're going to count back uh, four blocks, three blocks even. Um, so you've got a three block gap, one, two, three. Then this is where your three iron blocks are going to go. Place one on top of here, come forwards, or towards the back even, uh, with your black wall. And then for your wheels, you can use your trap doors. Just like that. Stupidly easy. And then you go button. And if you did the same on the front, you can put in your button or either this button or the wooden button on the front. Uh, I'm just going to leave my blank. So that finishes off that back gun. And we might as well put in the back stairs as well while we're here because the only bit on the back section is just this gun and the stairs uh, so it'll be quite easy so you're just going to leave a block gap come across by three make this five then it goes back by five so you've got one two three three four five one two three four five cut out all this section and exactly the same as we did before it does unfortunately on my build cut slightly into the captain's cabin if you wanted this entire captain's cabin to be this massive section um, I'm probably when I get around to it I'm just going to have it going across like this part and make it a little bit smaller and then put in some extra cabins here for officers or whatever um, and then again with your stairs build them up hopefully not like I've done them which is a really weird kind of way just like this this and you've got more and then of course it'll go down to the level of your gun deck so it just fits in behind here uh, again if you want to what you can do is have the stairs on it like that you can even, if you want to, cut through these ones and have more stairs like that. It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, this is just kind of where I put in my main ways to get down the deck. One at the front and one at the back here. Okay, so for the next section before we get into this bridge, there's just a little bit of detail that you can't really see behind all this crazy amount of fence. So we're just going to do this now. Uh, so what you're going to do is, in this middle mast here, towards the back, leave two block gap here, and then on the third one you're going to go three wide. Let's go back six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's fill this in completely solid like this. And then put stairs on the sides of it. So this will be whatever colour you're using for these kind of details. And then near in the front, this kind of mast here, what you're going to do is count back to the third block and cut this one out, and then go three high. And exactly the same, you're going to put in whatever style you've gone for out of the kind of uh, funnels themselves, just like that. And then all you need to do to finish this off is I just put trap doors on the front kind of faces that are showing like this. So that part's pretty easy. And then one block behind this with black wall, you're going to go up by two. Just like this. And I just put trap doors all the way around this. I don't really know what this thing is, um, but I saw it on the kind of picture, so I decided to put it in. Uh, you're then going to need uh, whatever planks you're using. And then you're going to go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is just one block space between this part. And it's just three wide, this bit. Like that. And then behind this, you're going to build the kind of armoured bridge. So you just put in iron blocks or uh, light grey wool. It depends what you know, texture pack you're using. So you've got five, and then you've got two on the sides, and then you've got five across the back. You can cut out one of them for the door, make this two high in total. Like that. And then what you're going to do is on the inside, I'm just going to cut into these parts, and I just put in stone slabs as these kind of viewing port type things. Um, across the front as well, it goes across like that, and I believe it's the same on the back. Uh, the actual walkway for the second bridge will come across this bit, uh, which we'll do now. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same as we did the other bridge. So you're going to have these two, they'll be in the middle of this part. So it acts as a roof of this part as well, and bring this all the way to the edge just like we did before. Uh, there is a slight difference with this bridge as it has um, it has two boats kind of hanging off the side 
So once you've done those two to each side, what you're going to do is exactly the same as we did before. Uh, use two blocks, cut out those two slabs. You got your stairs. Cut out. Oh, without trying to cut out everything. Cut out the two slabs. Put in your fences like this. Same on the other side. So you got the two uh, kind of piece of wall to hold whatever it is. And then do that. Cut out those bits. Put in your fences. Then you're going to have your fences coming across the front part of it. Just like that. Or like that. <laughs> now what you could do, because you have got this extra bit of the front, if you wanted to, you could extend this front part. It's really up to you if you want to extend it like that. Um, on my one, all I did is just had it exactly the same as the kind of one at the front. It just comes across and leaves this, uh, both the kind of iron parts like that and then of course in your middle you'll put in well if you want to you can put in your crafting table like I did just to change it a little bit I'm going to put in our stairs again so count back three one two three build up and then get more stairs without trying to destroy the deck itself just like this same on the other side one two three build your stairs up to get onto this part just like that and then with your fence you're going to come out over and down and then you're just going to kind of squiggle your way down and then put in your birchwood slabs so just like this, come out, in, down forwards and down, just like that and then do that, and then on the inside part of course you're going to come across just like we did before on the last one uh, so you've just got this one block walk around and this fence is kind of flying over but again you can put in your birchwood slabs if you want, I'm going to do this on this build uh, just so you got to kind of change uh, and then cut out this one and then come down like this. So it's pretty easy to build these kind of uh, higher bridge type sections. And there we go. So we've got the walk up here all the way along there. And now all we need to do is add on the small boats to the sides of these. So for setting up the small boats on this kind of edge that's going across the front, you're just going to add a slab and come out here and then go down Then underneath this whatever slab you're using for your boat kind of color uh, just add a slab on there add one going towards the front and in total this is uh, and in total you're going to bring this back by six so you got one two three four five and six just like that then upside down stairs if you can get it to work there we go just like this so it's going to go around the outside of these parts and across the front like this and then this is where it gets a little bit tricky, so you might need to destroy your fences. Just remember where they need to go back to bring it around here, like this. And then wrap this around the back. And then, of course, if you have destroyed the fences like I did, uh, then bring them back. And then on the last one, for an extra connecting part, what you're going to do is bring your fence up, go across by three again. And then I just brought it back into the side part here. You can even make this a full block like that. Or what I did is I used quartz stairs or whatever type of stairs, uh, whatever type of block you used here. If you're on an Xbox, just make it a full stone uh, slab. And then just to finish it off, just place in a quartz slab here and here. Uh, so I'll do it on the other side as well, just in case you guys get stuck. So find the front part here, go three, like that. Go down by one and add a slab. Add a slab to the front as well. And this is a total six. One, two, three, four, five, six then all you're going to do is just have your upside down stairs coming across at the front you're just going to have one coming across the front like that and then again you might need to delete these just to make it a bit easier to get around and then when you come around the back add an extra couple of stairs that wrap around like that add back in this connecting part here on the back come up, come up here, come to free like that and it should connect into the deck which is either with your stair or your slab and then just to finish it off, put in a couple of these kind of seats. So that finishes off the second command bridge. And now the only deck kind of detail we need to do is the uh, kind of wheel itself. So leave two block gap here and then put down two fences. And you can put down two blocks of gold on top of this. A fence on the front and also on the back of it. And this is actually uh, quite a big kind of wheel. So. That's why I made it two blocks. You can make it one if you want, think it looks better, or you can make it three long, it's up to you. Uh, just put your leaves on it, and these you're kind of making it look like it's 
fist that you hold on to, just like that. And that finishes off uh, most of the deck to detail, actually. I think we've got another gun to put in, and that's it. Okay, so for the last deck gun, and um, I'm going to have a quick check over, but I'm pretty sure that is all that we need to do for the actual deck details. It's just onto the sails themselves. So where you've got this kind of um, bit before the command bridge, what you're going to do, which I've just noticed this part as well. All I did in this part is I just put in an extra couple of slabs to fill it up. It's a good thing I went down here, <laughs> otherwise I would have forgotten that. Um, you can either do that with iron. I thought it looked a bit better with the wood from the air anyway, from the kind of top view. Um, so it's up to you if you want to put in the iron blocks or if you want to put in these slabs. Um, anyway, to the gun. Uh, so we've got these three here. So this is where you're going to cut out for your gun. And it's going to be the same as the other deck guns that we've done. So we've got a black piece of wall, oak wood stair, dispenser, and trap door on it. So it's going to be exactly the same on the other side. So you've got one, two, three. Bring this three all the way back. I'm just going to double check I did that right. Yep. So you've got that there. Black piece of wall, oak wood stair, dispenser. And then you've got your trap door on it. So now we're done with the deck details. I'm going to go and have a quick check over. Um, but if I don't say to build anything else, that means you are done with this layer. Okay, so we're going to start on the kind of basic rigging. Um, this shouldn't change at all. This will be all the bits that just connect in to each of the, the kind of masts themselves. So if you come right to the back, and you're just going to add four fences. One, two, three, and four. Then come in, go up by four. One, two, three, and four. So you're counting this one that's connected in as four. And then connecting one on the back. And one, two, three, and four. Four, and then into the back, two, three, four, into the back again, two, three is where it should connect in. Then you're just going to add an extra three kind of fences onto the top. So you've just got an extra three blocks above it connecting into here. And now what we're going to do is connect it into here. Okay, so to connect it into this back mast, what you're going to do is come here and you're going to add three fences. So you've got a total of four fences here one, two, three, four, if you count this one. Then go on to the top and then number four. So count this one one, two, three, four. Count this one number four. Most of what I do with this is just basically patterns um, until you get into the mast. So you've got loads of fours and then you've just got a three that connects in, but it's fine because it kind of gets hidden behind the mast anyway. Okay, so now we're going to build um, up these crow's nests. It'll make it a little bit easier when they're connecting. I can tell you kind of, you can see in relation uh, where they're actually connecting in for the, so for the first one. Uh, finally, you've got this mast that connects into this uh, diagonal mask, mast, and you're coming up by three, one, two, on this one. And just come around the front, and you're going to make the front five wide, like that, so that's not five wide. That's five wide there. And then it's going to be three sets of seven, so you got one, two, three, just like this. And then you got seven, just on the side, so that's the first one. And then the next one, you're going to go up by five. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And then across the front, this one's just a three. But you've got two sets of five this time. So you've got a five kind of coming on on the sides and around these parts like this. And then for the next mass, what you're going to do is, again, find this diagonal part, go up by two. And then oh, on the front part here, this is on the second block. The front part is going to be a five, just like we did on the last one. So that's a five, and then there's four sets of seven this time. So you've got one, two, three, four. So you've just got this seven. So it almost connects into the actual mass itself. It's quite a big one. So you get that. And then for the top one, it's easier to count from this top beam. So go down by three, one, two, three. So you've got three blocks kind of showing. And just like the last one down here, we had a three, five, five. It's going to be the same. So you've got three, five, and a five just like that. And then on the front mast for the big one, you again find this diagonal go up by two, one, two, and it's on this bit here. So you've got five coming across the front like this, five, and then you've got three sets of seven. Just like that. And again on this one it's easier to count from this top mast, so go down by three, one, two, three. So you're leaving three blocks showing. And on the front You've got a three, and then you've got five and five. So those are the kind of basic um, setups for the actual crow's nests themselves. And then with all of these crow's nests, what you can actually do is get your fence 
Now you're just going to go around the outside of these. Uh, of course, the top ones, because they're so small, it means that there's only like a one gap space to actually walk in. Um, but since you can't really get up to these anyway, it doesn't matter too much. It's mainly just for the looks of it and just to trim it out. So on the big ones as well, go around. Do this on all of them, and we'll get on to the next part. Okay, so now we're going to connect these two masts together. So we're just going to do these kind of bits that go across um, and connect into each mast. It's pretty easy, uh, so I'm sure you won't have any problem with it. Okay, so from the back mast, what we're going to do is we're going to find this crow's nest. I'm just going to go the block underneath and go, go four, one, two, three, four. Go down, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Okay, just continue this pattern until you hit uh, the actual mast itself. So all of these are pretty easy. It does take a while to get there as it is such a big build. I'm just going to double check to see if that one is full. Yep. Just like this. Two, three, and then it should have three at the end. So that's your first one. And then the second one, what you do is you come up to this, kind of your second mast on the back, go up by two, so it's on the second one, so you've got one, and then the second one, go up by four again. One, two, three, four. Under, two, three, four, and exactly the same as we did before. And then for the last one, come to where you've got this kind of, uh, well, this is actually the flagpole, but we're going to put in the flags later. Come down by one, and count in that one there, you've got four, so you've got one, two, three, four, and then it's exactly the same, you're just going to do your fours like that, so I'll catch you guys after you've done that and connected it into the mast. And then the last bit we need to do is just connect in this mast that's going this way into this here. So find this mast here and you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then up one, two, three, four, five. So you're just kind of doing a five pattern and it will connect in onto two of these. You can either have it connected into one like that, um, or you can have it connected into two. I actually prefer it looking like it with the one like that, uh, but it's up to you. So you've just got five, five, and then a four, which will connect into this bit here. So let's go on to the next bit. Okay, so the next mass, what we're going to do is come to the big crow's nest, and you're going to go six this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then go down. Not there. Go down. Two, three, four, five, six. Continue this pattern until you hit uh, the mast itself. So I've got five, six. Continue that. I think you have four when you connect in, but I'll kind of catch you guys when you get there just to double check. Yep, so you have four that connects in there. So let's get on to the next bit. Okay, so the next one is underneath the next kind of crow nest, crow's nest up. You're going to go four this time. So you've got four. Then you've got fives. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Down, two, three, four, five. So you basically just got these. this one here is a four, then the rest of the fives. Continue it until you hit into the mast itself. So this is what you should have if you've done it. There is going to be a bit of a change, so you're just going to take off these bits and also this last layer of five. And off this one, you're going to go five as well. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. Then it goes up. You got one, two, three, four, and five. And then you're just going to continue this up. So it's a bit more complicated. So you got one, two, three, four, and five, one, two, three, which are connecting. So this is the only kind of difficult part. Uh, another thing you can do, of course, is take that one off. Maybe that looks better, maybe it doesn't. It's kind of up to you what you think looks better. But this is the way that I did it. I had it up there. Uh, so we've just got one more for this big connecting part, and then we're onto these three that connect into the mast at the front. And then go right to the top of the mast, this flagpole type thing, and you're going to count out four. So one, two, three, and four. This is where you're going to go out by five. So counting the one that you're connecting to, so you've got one, two, three, four, and five, down, two, three, four, and five. Continue that down until you hit into the mast. And then what I did before I got to the end, instead of just having this two that connects in here, I just extended this one to a six in total. So it connects right into the middle there. I think it looks a little bit tidier. Uh, but it's up to you what you want to do with that part. Okay, so now we're just going to do these three uh, front bits for the uh, HMS Warrior itself. So you're going to come down by one, and you're going to add two fences. This is right on the top. And all you're going to do is a pattern like this. You're going to go down by one, out by one, down by one, out by one. And you're going to zig your, zag your way all the way right down to the bottom. So I'm not going to go through this one uh, step by step. I'm just going to skip the video. So pause the video now, get this one to go all the way down, and I'll tell you where to put the second one. Okay, so once you've connected that one in here, what we're going to do is we're going to come to this top crow's nest. 
And we're just going to add one fence, then go down and out. And exactly the same pattern as we did before. Um, and again, I'll skip this part of the video until you've actually reached it into this forward beam here. Okay, so this one should connect perfectly into uh, the mass that's going sideways. So hopefully you guys have got that one. Uh, for the next one, what you're going to do is you're going to find this above this kind of crow's nest, this next mast here, and you're going to go uh, count down three of these one, two, three. And off this one, you're going to just go one, uh, you're going to go out by two, sorry, then down, and it's exactly the same pattern that we've been doing for the last uh, couple of them. So it's just down, out, down, out, down, and out, and down, and out, and do that again until you hit into the deck. Okay, so once you've done that, you've done all of the basic kind of uh, mast to mast rigging, I guess we could call it. What we're now going to do is, uh, there are three of these flags. I've used the England flag, of course it would have been uh, the Great British flag, uh, but because the Great British flag is a little bit complicated, the England flag will do fine. I'll show you two different ways of kind of doing these top flags. You can even do them with an actual nationality flag, or what you can do this other way, which is when you just place one block and come out and go two. Uh, actually go three, actually you go one, one, two, three. Then what you do is you'll go diagonal and down and just do two. So this is another way to just do these top flags. And it's up to you if you want to do this way and all you'll do is just copy those onto each of those flag posts. So there's four in total, so you've got one, two, three. And you've also got this one down here, which I almost forgot about. Uh, but I'll just show you how to do the actual England flag. Um, so I'll just do it on one of these masts and it's exactly the same. So the way that I'm going to do the sails this will change the direction. This one would be if I'm angling the mast this way. Um, I'm actually going to angle the mast this way because I have it in my world. All of them are actually angled that way. So what you're going to do is leave one gap here. You're going to place a white piece of wool. Then you're going to go across here. And you're going to have three. And then you're going to come back in like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to create a kind of... Just do a layer of red going across this way and then cut out one on the top. You're going to create this red cross and just put white wall around it. So that's how you do the English flag uh, with it being slightly staggered as it's kind of in the wind a little bit but it's still quite square. Um, so what you need to do is copy that one onto there, uh, onto here again just leaving one fence post up and I also put one here as well and also one right on the back again which just put on on this part here. So do that on all of them and I'll get back to you for uh, what I'm going to do next is this this rigging going up um, and then if you wanted to have all these ones tied up then you, you will be done with the tutorial after I've done all this rigging but if you want to have kind of uh, my new sail design that I've had on some of the newer promo, promo vids you've actually seen I am going to go through that on, on this tutorial as well how to change this ship and make it kind of a bit crazier so let's get to it okay so for the first thing we're going to do for these bits coming in here is we're just going to set up these platforms. You can hardly see it online but there is these bits that are sticking out which I've put in with black wool. So what you can do for the first one which is uh, near the back, this is going to be the simplest one, is just above this gun port you're going to be one block lower than this part here and it's going to be six in total. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. So actually I didn't realize it goes from gun to gun um, <laughs> which is pretty pretty useful. So then again above the gun you got one two, three, four, five, six. So gun to gun yet again. Um, so that's going to be the first platform and now we'll do the next ones. Okay, so for the middle uh, kind of mast itself, so we've just done the back one here, we're just moving along. You're going to get in line with the actual uh, mast itself and you're just going to go one block block behind the back. I'm just going to use white wool, it might show up a little bit better, I'm just going to switch it in a bit. So you're going to go 12 in total, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 in total. So we'll do it on the other side as well. So you come in line with the mast, go down by one block. You're going to move it over so you're you're not actually on the in line with the mast. It's actually one towards the back. Then you've got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Just like that. And we'll do the front one. And for the last one, find your mast. There should be this gun. What you're actually going to do is you're going to leave a two block gap this time. So instead of it being one block back, which would be uh, not there, here. <laughs> You're going to be two blocks back, so you've got a block gap between the gun and the actual uh, place where it stands, and this will be 12 again. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the, on the other side as well. 
So you've got the gun, gun you're going to leave a one block gap. Of course it's going to be one lower, so you've got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now I'm going to switch those to black, and we're going to start from the back because the back one is the smallest. Um, <laughs> as you can see, compared to the victory tutorial, there is a lot more fence used uh, to the point where I'm getting a little bit of lag because of it. So there's a huge amount of fence on these ones going up. Um, but they're quite, they should be quite simple, I think. <laughs> it's just a lot of it involved. So we're going to do this back one first. And we'll even go up on the crow's nest as well and, and go up onto this top part. And then we'll make our way forwards uh, through the more difficult ones. So let's get onto it. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to do the back of it now. So what you're going to do is straight on top of those six, you're just going to place fences. This will be a total height of three count on this one. So you got go up by three. <laughs> like that without trying to place a million other fences. Just like this. Then go along the back of it as well. Then go up by three. Counting this one as well, of course. Just like this. And then join on the back again with that. And then go. This one will only be up by a height of two in total, like this. And then leaving this front one, you're just going to do five. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. So this is the front of the ship. So you're just leaving that front part there. We're going to do the same on the other side as well uh, while we're working our way up so that it's a little bit easier. <laughs> At least for me, anyway. So you're just going to place six down. It's high of three. And then just add on the ones at the back, like this. Make that a height of three. Like this. Add on them at back. I'll add them on on the back as well. This will just be a height of two with the six. Then leaving this one off the front, you're going to go have five. Just going on top, like that and then what you're going to do is on the back of this you're going to add in counting the back of the five and this will be a height of two like this and we'll do the same on the other side so you got the five it's into the back and this will be a height of two in total just like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to have four of these this time so again you're leaving the one off uh, from the front so you're leaving this one off the front and this one off the front. And then on the back of this, you're going to join on just the four. And this will be a height of two as well. Like that. Same on this side. So add four blocks, uh, not four blocks, four fences onto it. Like this. And then add them on the back, back as well. And this will be a height of two. Just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add four onto the back as well. One, two, three, four, and four coming up, just like this. Um, if you do have the static sails, then and you put in your fence on the back part of this, it will connect in. I'm just going to put it in for the time being. It'll make it a little bit easier. Just these bits, um, as that's what I've got on my other build, and it's got a lot of fence in it. So, if you did have your fences, the old sails coming down like this and across. Well, with one on each side actually, but there and there like that. So then it's actually started to connect into this back part there. And we just need to do it on the other side as well. So we've got this one, two, three, four. It's going to go across by four on the top as well. So it's connecting in those two bits. And then you're going to connect on the back again. And there's just going to be two here. Connect on the back again. Two there. Just like that. This bit here actually connects into this crow's nest, so we'll get onto that now. So all you're going to do to finish off this bit of rigging is you're going to connect these two back bits in here. Then this one goes on top of the mast as well, and it goes all the way up until you're just about to here where you put in your spruce wood slabs or whatever type of slabs you use for that. So again, what you're going to do is connect two on the back here. This goes across by three, and over three. Put in your slabs. And it'll connect in there, just like that. So now all we need to do is this port part going into this uh, part here. So connecting the two crow's nests together. And to connect the crow's nests together, all you're going to do is build this one up to a total height of six. Count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same with these two on the sides as well. Just like that. Then connect two of them on together. I'm just going to have one set of three, I think. And these ones are just going to go straight up. 
like that, and then connecting to the top. So you got this kind of three on the back here, and then it goes just up two. So we'll do the same on the other side. It's really super easy. It's about to height of six. One, two, three, four, five, and of course this sixth one will be here, just like this, like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your twos here. Uh, sorry, no, that's wrong. What you're gonna do first, without destroying the entire thing, <laughs> you're just gonna connect onto the back of this one. Then you have a three, and then these twos. You're gonna keep on going until you connect into here, where you just put in two spruce wooden slabs. So again, uh, if you have got the static sails, you're gonna have them joining into this part like this. Uh, so it will drone into it again. I was going to put these on for the basic design and we'll get on to the next section. Okay, so now we're going to do the next mast's uh, kind of rigging. It's quite easy. So you're just going to put, we can actually find the blocks. There we go. You're just going to put them directly on top of these blocks that you put on the side. So you're going to have 12 in total. This will be a height of three. This is one of the easier ones actually. I laid this one out pretty easy. So just build that up to a height of three. Just like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come in on the inside part of it, but you're only going to do 11. What you're going to do on most of these is just, it's going to keep being on this part. Oh, I haven't built this one up. So it's going to be on this part. You're just going to leave one off towards the back. So that one doesn't connect into the back. This one will be a height of three again. So then come across like this, like that. Bring this one all the way across. And then again, on the back, what you're going to do is you're just going to connect on one short of the back part, so that's the back of the ship. So now you've got a 10. Again, build this up to a 3. Bring this across without trying to place a million different fences down, like that. There. And bring it across. Like that. And then again, connect onto the back. This time it will be nine, so you're going to go one short again. So this one is probably the easiest kind of rigging part that I've ever done. There we go. So then again, it's going to be a height of three, counting the one that you added onto the back. And then again, now you're going to go for an eight. And yet again, a height of three. So most of the pattern is like this, going all the way up. So it's really, really easy. And now you've got a 7, so you're just coming in again on that one side. Height of 3. So this should connect into the bottom part here. Oh, just like that. Like this. Like that. So we're going to do the same kind of thing on the other side. So you can see it's really, really simple. It's really got quite a nice curve compared to the kind of other ones I've done. So uh, do the actual same on the other side as well. Um, I might actually just do what I'm going to do with this one because it is quite easy. I'm just going to build up one side and then you guys can can copy the, the same kind of style onto the other side because it is very simple. Okay, so I just noticed on mine, mine I've actually done a mistake. This is I've made mine one block longer so I just need to take off these. So it shouldn't connect into the bottom part yet. It shouldn't connect into the bottom of the sail is what I'm trying to say. So it shouldn't connect in there. I'm just going to go around the back as well. And then again, we'll just build this one up to a height of two. This is where it starts changing. So sorry about that if that did confuse you. It's just me that's gone wrong on there. So it should be kind of behind this part here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to leave one of these ones and you're just going to build on top. So you have five directly on top of these and there's one on top of the mast. This will be a height of two. Like that. And then on the back of this, what you're going to do is you're going to do a five again, leaving one towards the back. So you've got five. Build this one up one more layer, five, then you're going to connect again, leaving one off the back, this will be a five as well, so it's actually going to stick out a little bit just like that, sorry you haven't got a four on the back, of uh, five on the back of this like that instead what you've got is you come here, again being one leaving one on the back, and you come forward again just by one, and let's add two sets of four on the top of this, that's not right and I've made a mistake on this crow's nest as well, so this one needs to be moved forwards by one, so just take off this back bit here. Sorry about this, guys. And then all you're going to do is just add one in here, add a five across the front, 
So you get that instead, you have to change your fence a little bit. Your fence. Like this. So you can actually walk around this one uh, from the back here. And then connect across the back as well. And now this bit should connect in properly. Sorry about that. And then you just do four slabs like that. Do that on the other side. Uh, do that the same on the other side, and we'll get onto the next one. Or we'll actually no, we'll do the, the crow's nest first. We'll do the crow's nest first, then we'll get onto the next one. Okay, so for the middle mast crow's nest, what we're going to do is these are going to be built up to a height of six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. It'll be three wide in total. So you have this, like this, and should just connect into underneath and also here like that. I'll do the same on the other side as well, it's really easy. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So connect into there, so build this up to a total width of three. Just like that. And then come around the back part of this and just kind of connect on. This will be a total height of three, so you got one, two, and three. And then this one actually comes across on top of the mast itself as well. And all you're going to do is these ones are just going to build up by two goes all the way up so it's quite a steep kind of bit of rigging for this part like that and then again put in your slabs on the top there and then come around to this side again connect those two it's going to be a total uh, width and a height of three and then these two just go all the way up so build this all the way up to here too wide then put in your slabs so it's pretty easy that one. And now we're going to finish off the front rigging. Okay, so now we're onto the last front rigging. This one is a little bit a lot more difficult than that one actually. That one was very, very simple. So what we're going to do is find where you've put out put those bits. It's really difficult for me to see at the minute, but you should have 12 of them going across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Build this up to a total height of three. Two and three. Just like that. And then again, what we're going to do is we're going to connect on the back, leaving the one that's going towards the back empty. So you've only got 11 coming across here. This time, only build this on up to a height of two. Like that. And then what we're going to do is on top of this, we're going to leave one on the back and go on top. Like that, so you've only got this 10 going across. I believe it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10. Just miscounted. And then you're just going to connect onto the back of this one. Like this. And then build that one up to a height of 2 as well. And then again, we're going to come in 1 on the back and go up. Like that. And then connect onto the back again. So it's going to connect straight onto the back. But this time, what you're going to do is you're going to add an extra fence on it. So it's now starting to curve on both sides, not only going short this way, but it's also going to start curving into this part here. Build this on up to a height of two again. Like that. And then on top, you're going to be one short from the back part. Like like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build this bit on the other side as well. Um, so just place all of your fences on, on this part here. Build up to a height of 3. Just like this. And then build on the back. And remember to be one short on the back and then build this one up to a height of two. And on top of this, you're going to be one short on the kind of bit towards the back of the ship. Just like that. Then connect onto the back again. And build that up to a height of two. Like this. And then again, you're going to be one short on the back. Just like that, and then exactly the same. This one's going to go forwards this time. So you got connecting on the back, and it goes forwards by one fence. 
build that part up to a height of 2 as well. Just like this. And then on top, you're going to be one short of the last uh, kind of layer there. So now let's build up this one again to a bit, and then we'll build up this one again to a bit. Okay, so we're just going to go back onto this one. We're just going to connect straight onto the back of this. Like this. And then build that one up to a height of two. Like that. And then one short from the back. It's going to build up again. And it comes forwards by one. So like that. So we'll do the same on the other side as well. Might as well do both of these at the same time. Uh, so what we're going to do is connect onto the back of all of these. Put it up to a height of two. Like this. And then leave one from the back part. Come over. And this one will extend by one. Like that. And again, come around the back. And you're going to connect all of these on straight onto the back of this part. And put this on up. higher again and then coming in by one you're just going to build that one up there so it should be at the same level as the mass now we'll do the same on the other side so connecting straight onto the back of all of these ones build that up to a height of two like that and then leaving one on the back we're just going to go across oh not there just straight on top of this and it connects right into the mass like that and then you're going to connect them onto the back, just straight on the back of these ones, like this. And then leave one of these fences, and it's going to be straight on top of the next one. And this goes right over to this part, and then you're just going to go over again on top. But this is going to be one short of the back as well, like this. Like this, just like that. So the same on the other side, what you're going to do is connect straight onto the back. That'd be one short. This one comes all the way over here, and then on top of this, it's one short of the back again. Without trying to place too many random fences down, because you do end up doing this a lot with this. So we're almost there with this one. So we're almost there with this one. And then just to finish this one up, what you can do is connect on five on the back, one, two, three, four, five. So you can one short. On top of this, you got four. And then you got three on top. And then all you're going to do again is put in your spruce wood slabs just to join it in. And same on the other side, what you're going to do is connect them uh, on the back but one short. Add four on top. And then you just have three to connect into this part here. So hopefully that wasn't too painful to do the kind of big ones. Now we've just got this crow's nest to do and we can get onto kind of uh, the sails. I'll see how the actual video is. If it's too long then I'll, I'll put in an extra video saying that I've There'll be a part two the following day with, with the sail design itself. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to build up these three here until they hit into the mast. So I'm just going to build up one of them like this. So that one will hit into the mast there. It's actually going to hit into the mast here on this three. Just like that. So it'll connect into the back of the mast. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. It's quite easy, so this like that so we just connect it into there then what you're going to do is just connect onto the back of this and you're going to have three like that and then you've got another three on top of this and then these forwardmost two are just going to go straight up until they goes and go into the crow's nest themselves just like this it's the crow's nest so you just put in your slabs again so the same on the other side, so we've just got two here, and it goes with three, and you got another three, and then these two just get built all the way up. Like that, and then put in your slabs. So there we go, that finishes off the probably the most complex part of the actual uh, build itself, which is the rigging. Uh, it was an absolute nightmare for me to come up with. Uh, if you do want all of the sails tied up, then I'm just going to give you a flyover. I'm pretty sure on the tutorial before, it's been a long tutorial for me, so I can't even remember what's actually happened in it. Um, but I should have showed you how to do these sails. If not, the victory 
tutorial does have these basic sails for these. All I did on the, the side sails is I just basically staggered staggered them like this. That's the simple way of doing it. Make sure also have all your flags and things like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all pretty standard for, for if you got them tied up. Yep, so these ones I've got tied up as well. These are all really simple. So they're just kind of on it pretty much straight. It's a really, really long run, run actually. And I've just come forwards by one there. And the same with this front one here. Um, so if you're actually keeping it like this start, this star here where it's all tied up and everything, then you guys are done with the tutorial. Okay, so well done on completing the HMS Warrior. If you've done it uh, with the sails drawn up, you are completely done. Um, so well done on this. This is going to be the first kind of, this is going to be a part two. I've decided to do this in a part two because it is a very, very long video. Um, so what I'm going to do tomorrow, there will be a video up tomorrow, which is going to be the Sunday, uh, which will do the fully rigged sails and things like that. Um, I'm just going to spend some time uh, making sure that I get it all really nice and I'll do the complete tutorial on those so there will be a completely fully uh, fully sailed out version of it as well uh, but if not and you and you want to kind of have it tied up like I do in my world then um, then you guys are done so well done for completing this build um, so I'll see you guys on the next mega tutorial